have learned, listen to me, Pastor. The same people who shout Hosanna at the beginning of the week will be the same people who shall crucify him at the end of the week. When you serve the Lord, you're going to get criticized. That comes with the territory. If the pastor is young, he lacks experience. If the pastor's hair is gray, they're too old. If the pastor has five children, the pastor has too many kids. If the pastor has no children, the pastor's not setting the right example. If the pastor is a woman, the pastor's not a man. If the pastor preaches from his notes, they must be canned sermons. If the pastor's messages are extemporaneous, the pastor's not deep. If the pastor uses too many illustrations, the pastor neglects the word. If the pastor doesn't use enough stories, the pastor is not clear. If the pastor uses too much Ellen White, the pastor's too legalistic. If the pastor doesn't use enough Ellen White, the pastor isn't Adventist enough. If the pastor supports the praise team singing, if the pastor claps his hands in praise and worship, the pastor's too liberal. If the pastor just supports him singing, the pastor's too conservative. If the pastor condemns wrong, the pastor's a legalist. If the pastor doesn't preach against sin, the pastor's a compromiser. If the pastor fails to please everybody, the pastor is hurting the church. If the pastor pleases everybody, the pastor has no convictions. If the pastor drives an old car, the pastor shames his congregation. But if the pastor drives a new car, the pastor has set his affections on things of the earth. If the pastor preaches all the time, people get tired of hearing the same preacher. But if the pastor invites guest speakers, the pastor's not doing his job. We will never be good enough, talented enough, or righteous enough, or holy enough. But I hear the Apostle Paul saying, but be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for your labors are not in vain. When you're serving the Lord, it's like an open door that draws flies. And the brighter the light, the more you attract bugs. You will attract criticism. But God is saying, if I can handle a rod, then I can handle the criticism for you. If I can handle some lions in a lion's den, then I can handle some criticism for you. If I can handle a fiery furnace for three Hebrew boys, then I can handle the criticism for you. When you serve the Lord, you will make mistakes. People will see your flaws. But just go. Go with what you have. 